It's Creepy Create Day. Arr. For this project, I am just using the standard inexpensive styrofoam head. Um, I got a two pack of these off of Amazon for about $8. And I'm just using a box cutter to cut out the mouth and lower nose area. Now I'm just using some Mod Podge and toilet paper to cover the entire head. It will give a good base to um, build my clay features upon and it helps to add a wrinkled texture to the head to make it look like wrinkled skin. You just apply the Mod Podge to the um, styrofoam head, add a piece of toilet paper, and then apply more Mod Podge over it and just overlapping all your pieces as you go along. So now I'm just taking some air dry clay and I'm rolling it out to um, form up some eyebrows and forehead wrinkles. And then making uh, the eye sockets. I'm really exaggerating the features on this one. You could make yours much more refined. Um, but I needed mine to really stand out. It's going to be in a dark spot in my haunt. And so now I'm just making a, a funky looking nose on there. Kind of have it pointing outward, kind of like a little pig nose. And then I just use the end of um, you know, this little tool to make some nostrils and just smooth it out a little bit. And now I'm just making the gums on the inside of the mouth and some lips. And I'm just smoothing down the edges of the clay to um, blend it more with the face. So now I have some artificial fingernails that I cut off to make a little bit shorter and then I'm just going to cut them a little bit to make them kind of jagged and these will be his teeth. And you can just insert them right into that clay.
Now I'm just rolling out some more clay and I'm making um, like ligaments or muscles, whatever you want to call them, on the sides of the face to add some more drama to this guy, making like tendons going down the neckline. I really like the way the, the tendons on the neck look. I smoothed, those were smaller and I smoothed them out better. Um, and that's my ear. <laughs> it actually didn't turn out too bad. I've, I've never made an ear out of clay before. And so now I am just rolling up some clay to put in the eyes for the eyeball. Both eyes are in place, so now I'm going to do some more uh, tendons on the other side of the head. He's looking pretty good. Now I'm adding some eyelids over the eyeballs. I just use this little tool to um, kind of push it in around, smooth it out. That's where we're at right now. And it's time to do another layer of the decoupage. Um, I'm using paper towel this time instead of the napkins. It's got a little more texture to it. It's a little um, thicker. I'm just going to coat the entire head, putting the Mod Podge down, laying the paper towel over. And you notice I've ripped the edges of these um, so I don't have any harsh straight lines. And we're going to again cover the entire head. Time for paint. I'm mixing red and purple to get a dark red color. I'm going to coat the entire head with this color. Next, I mixed up a flesh color um, using these two different paints in the background there just a little bit of black to go with this kind of um, tan color <clears throat> and I'm uh, mostly just dry brushing this on it's maybe a little little heavier than a standard dry brush but I'm not completely covering the head and now I wanted to muddy it up a little so I put some brown paint on and I'm squirting it with some water to have it um, kind of dissolve and run down, just leaving some faint brown on this head. Now I'm doing the same with the black paint. I'm doing a black wash, watered down black paint, brush it on the head, and then spray it with the water mister. I just keep repeating this process until I'm happy with the way he looks. I want him to look dirty and grimy. Now I'm just painting the eyes and the teeth with an off-white color. I think it's called linen. And I didn't get footage of it, but I made some pupils on his eyes just by putting the other end of my paintbrush into the paint. and dabbing it on there. Um, I, I'm doing really simple eyes on this one. I don't need the detail that um, you might want for something like this. So I'm just keeping it really simple on the eyes. And now we're going to paint the teeth. So I'm mixing up. I have some yellow and some brown and kind of a cinnamon color. And I'm just uh, wiping one on and you know, wiping another one on. Then I have a Q-tip that I get wet and wipe off any extra that I don't want on there. So it's just kind of a back and forth until I achieve the look I want. And I'm just using that Q-tip to add a little bit of yellow to his eyes. Now we're on to hair. So I'm just snipping off 
sections of this faux hair um, and taking a little bit of tacky glue and putting that on the scalp and then just sticking the hair into it. I just want there to be like little tufts of hair that like not a full head of hair just like he's had a really rough week and lost most of his hair. There he is, so cute. Now I'm just going to dry brush some gray and then I have a lighter, um, it's like a cottage white, it's got just a little bit of blue in it and I just uh, really dry brush over the entire head with that to give him kind of an ashen zombie look. Now I need to add some spittle. So I'm just using my hot glue gun to drag the hot glue from the top of the mouth to the bottom, trying to make it look like he's got slobber. Next is the triple thick glaze to glossy up the teeth and the eyeballs. And then of course, some Fright Props blood. I'm painting this in the lower lids of the eyes, and then I'll do some in the nose and out of the side of his mouth, so it looks like he's, he's got a little bleeding going on there. Now I want to dirty up his hair, so I'm just taking some of the gray color paint and rubbing it in my hands getting it wet um, and just smooshing it on his hair. It was just easier to me than trying to use a paintbrush. Just get your hands dirty and get in there and make it look messy and dirty. It's really a fun project. If you like making creepy weird stuff, this is one to do. This final step is just applying some matte finish polycrylic. Uh, my experience has been that the even the matte turns out a little bit shiny and I wanted that. I didn't want a high gloss but I wanted a little bit of sheen to it so this worked out perfectly. And with that our little boy is all done. Well, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching and as always, I hope I've inspired you to go create something. See you next time.